Oh, don't mind me. I'm just sipping on my green juice because it's good for you. And I actually like how it tastes a lot. It surprises me how many people don't like green juice. I do. I, I like it. Anyways, hello. What's up? How are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day, week, weekend, whatever it is. We're having a good one. Today, I'm actually going to be trying out a new eyeshadow palette on my eyes. This eyeshadow palette is actually like, I would say like a dupe or it's, it's like a copy of it. Uh, but it's obviously a more affordable version of the actual original palette. If you want to see uh, the eyeshadow in action and see if it's worth it, if you were kind of looking for that color scheme, I'll let you know everything in the video as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and give it a like to the video if you enjoyed it. And let's just get on with the video. So, I purchased this eyeshadow palette about... I would say like a month ago and I received it uh, in the mail like maybe like a week ago now when I bought it um, I opened it because that's just how I am like I want to see everything I did touch a couple of the eyeshadows but I didn't try it on the eye so that's what we're gonna be doing today this is the jawbreaker eyeshadow palette like I said this is like a copy version it's not the original so yeah it's not the original but I wanted to give it a go because I don't have anything in my collection with these kind of shades. So I was browsing on an app called Joom. This is the uh, little icon of the application and you can find a lot of things on here. Like literally anything, anything you can find on here. It's kind of like, I would say it's kind of like a Wish um, version, but it's a little bit different. Yeah, you can... Like I said, you can pretty much find anything on here. So I was browsing on this the other day and I was like, hmm, that eyeshadow looks uh, pretty cute. And obviously, I mean, I know what Jeffree Star. Um, I don't really, you know, support him or anything like that. I don't watch him on YouTube or anything like that. But uh, I, I knew of this palette. This is an old palette too, so it's not like new or anything. But I saw it on the website and I was like, hmm, that looks cute in terms of like the color range. So let me just show you guys kind of how it looks like. This is $33 right now. I bought it for $21, so it's a little bit different. But yeah, it's just, I'm pretty sure they used pictures from the original palette, but this is not the original okay uh anyways i'm just gonna take it out of the box it did come in a little box and this is what the packaging looks like it's all right i feel like it looks very similar to the original i wouldn't know because i don't actually own the original but this is what the palette looks like it's a pretty standard size it was made in china um but yeah this is what it looks like when you open it up um as you guys can see it has a really big mirror and all the shades are on here i actually that's the one thing that caught my eye when i saw it online and i don't know i was just like you know i kind of want a colorful palette um and i just went for it i just went and bought this one so i wanted to give it a try with you guys on here on camera so you guys can know also if you guys are kind of like you know interested in that kind of color scheme this is good i'm obviously gonna let you all know so you can go and purchase it on there to just get started uh another thing i did cut my hair I, I know like who is she um i don't know i was just i was kind of over the long hair and also i felt like because of how long it was it was just kind of like damaged and it just needed, needed a trim but i was like you know what it's time for a change so i just i gave it a cut and i'm really happy with it i just feel my head feels so much lighter and it just feels good but anyways let me stop blabbing let's just get into the video i'm gonna be applying some concealer on the lids because i don't have anything on my face right now other than just like moisturizer and like eye cream and that's it but i do want to apply a little bit of concealer just to add as a base for the eyeshadow especially because they're quite colorful so um i just want to you know kind of have a nice base on there. I'm just gonna be using the e.l.f. hydrating concealer. I'm gonna use a little bit. Um, 
Also, my Blendiful ripped on one of the sides. Right here has a little rip. I was really upset about that because I don't even use it that much. And it happened when I was washing it. Like, as I was drying it up. I was, you know, just making sure that it wasn't too wet. And I noticed that it had a rip and I was just like... Really, bro? Like, really? So that was kind of disappointing, to be honest. I was just like, why? Like, that was so fast. But, yeah. That's just a little update. Um, So I don't really know what kind of look I'm going to be doing, to be honest. I just want to play around with as many colors as I can. Um, and see what the kind of, you know, quality of this is. Because if it's good, you know... For something colorful that you're not gonna be using all the time it's not bad this does kind of have like a weird smell though so yeah that's not too good but whatever anyways um let's get in with i guess let's say good morning which is this shade right here it looks kind of like a mm, it looks kind of like a neutral peach color I want to see if anything even shows up because I feel like this is going to be kind of light from my skin. Yeah, definitely. This is too light. Too light. I'm just going to use it kind of like as a base. Let's take the color Suck. And this one right here. Let's just take Suck onto the brush. It's a kind of like a corally orangey shade. And... I'm just gonna pop that right onto the crease as a transition kind of shade. Also, another thing to note is I had never purchased makeup from this website, so this is my first time kind of trying anything out from there. Um, I did purchase a couple other things, but they haven't arrived yet. So just like Wish, Dot com they kind of like arrive in ser like separate packages because they have like different sellers so uh, this is the only package that I have received yet from what I order but you know we shall see how it goes I'm just kind of applying a little bit of that at a time and blending it as I go it seems to be blending quite fine and the shade is all right as well I just, I really don't know what kind of look to do because I have, feel like I have so many shades. Um, I have a bunch of mosquito bites, guys. Uh, we went to the beach yesterday and it was such a fun day. We were celebrating one of my family members' birthdays there and we had such a good time, but the mosquitoes... I don't know why they have to go crazy on you like oh my god they were just literally all over and I've always gotten mosquito bites like pretty badly <sighs> unfortunately so yeah I'm just gonna take a little bit of a fluffier brush and I'm gonna take the color wow which is this shade right here it's kind of like a yellowy mustardy kind of color I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just kind of pop that on top to kind of blend a little bit above it. I am noticing these are a little bit like kind of powdery in the sense that when I dip my brush into it, like let me show you guys what I mean. When I dip my brush in there, it does give me a little bit of kickback and it's quite powdery when I tap off the excess. So just something to note but there seems to be a really nice amount of pigmentation so I don't mind it and they do seem to be blending quite nicely so that's good that's good um I really want to sorry I really want to use gumdrop which is this color right here I actually swatched it when I first got the palette um, and it didn't swatch too well to be honest so I don't know if it's gonna work well but I want to use it today somehow um, 
Let's go in with a little bit of raspberry, which is the shade right here. It just seems to be kind of like a deep wine kind of shade, like a deep wine berry shade. I want to see how this looks. Okay, so this is coming off a little bit more pinky than it looks on the pen. So I feel like you're gonna have to build this color up like I'm doing right now. But it's definitely not as deep as it shows on the pan. Like on the pan it looks like it's gonna be really deep all at once. But it I'm gonna have to build it up. But I don't mind that too much because a shade like this, you know. If you go in with too much all at once and then you cannot blend it in that's gonna be kind of a pain so i don't mind that that you know you can kind of build it up but it's just it looks different than it looks on the pan like if you guys can see on the pan it's like very different to what i'm getting on the eyes it's a little bit more kind of pinky tone on the eyes mm -hmm. let me swatch it yeah, and it doesn't swatch that well. It looks like it's kind of pressed too hard. Um, like I had to pretty much go kind of hard on there. And when I'm swatching it, there you guys can see the swatch, but it's, I mean, it's pigmented, but it's just not like crazy pigmented. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm just using the other brush that I was using to blend all of these colors together. Doesn't seem to be getting patchy or anything like that. So, so far, it's so good. I just want to swatch these four shades, which seem to be more of like a metallic kind of finish. Oh, these feel kind of rough. Yeah, these don't feel that nice. I mean, it looks all right, but it's not the most buttery formula, to be honest with you. Um... They are a little bit crumbly too. There's another one. Yeah, they're not horrible, but again, they're not the most buttery formula. Let's try orange juice. So those two were lemon drop and bite me. Now this is orange juice, which seems to be a little bit better. All right, as you guys can see, it's just like an orangey metallic kind of shade. Okay, and the last one is And What? This one right here, let's see it. Mm, there it is. So, yeah, I mean, they're not horrible. At least, you know, they do have a nice amount of payoff and everything. But they're definitely not the most buttery shades. Um... And I feel like they would work better if you had, you know, wet your brush or your finger or something before going in with them. So let's try a little bit of the blue shade, which is called Brain Frieza. This color right here. I want to see how pigmented it is and whatnot. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and kind of apply it to the center. Um, yeah, this doesn't seem to be too pigmented. Definitely not. So, this is the swatch, and that's kind of like going two times over it. That's the swatch, and this is the actual shade on the pen. So, not as bright as it looks on there. And this brush isn't the best for it because it's kind of like fluffy i'm gonna take kind of like a flat brush and see if i can have a little bit more intensity but no it looks very chalky that, that's not good that's not good very chalky it looks so my color is kind of like a flop like a big flop because look at that that just looks horrible and you know what the sad part is, is that that was like the most excited color that I was about. I was excited about that color. 
But let's move on. Um, we can take salt, which is this other one. Let's see if that one works a little bit better. Hopefully. But you know what the thing is? I feel like sometimes because you have those other colors that don't really work underneath there and you have that kind of chalkiness underneath, sometimes if you put something on top of that, it's not gonna work either. Um, this one does seem to have a little bit more pigments, but still it's not like super pigmented. with the finger is a little bit more pigmented but hmm I don't know I don't know and I have like hella fallout now do you guys see it um yeah this is kind of going going somewhere but not good not in a good way uh let's take fog which is this shade right here it looks a very it looks like a very pretty shade I'm just gonna like dip my brush in there and see if that does anything just gonna blend it up here I want to put something on the lid but I just don't really know what I want to take bubble gum but I feel like that one I swatched it when I first got the palette and honestly guys it feels super chalky as well like almost no pigment comes off so like do you guys even see anything because i don't really see anything it's like what happened there where's the color but let me try licking my finger and going on it and see if no there's like nothing nada is this all yeah i'm, I'm quite quite disappointed you know we have a color called Snack, which feels super not even buttery. Let's take a little bit of that. Hmm. I mean... No. No, that's just not good, not good. Okay, let's let's just ignore this situation here and let's try something else on this side. I wanna try something with with all these kind of like ready tones and red tones. I wanna see if I can do a look with that. So I'm gonna take fuck um on the big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna start with this shade. And see if I can come up with a look because this is a mess. This this is not good, not good at all. And you know, it, it sucks because those were the ones that I was like most excited about. Um and I thought it would work, but apparently not. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of suck, which is this other shade. So this one is more orangey tone. This one is a little bit more kind of corally, a like corally red. So I'm gonna take um, Suck, and I'm just gonna take that right in that same area just to kind of give it a little bit of more definition. The thing is, too, the ones that are nice and pigmented, like, they have a nice payoff to them, they do blend really nicely, but, like, this, no. It's just a no. It's just a no. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a different brush. And I'm gonna pick up, um, licorice. Licorice. Which is this shape right here. I'm just gonna take that, see if it's pigmented and hopefully it doesn't stain my eye okay 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 we getting somewhere i think i'm gonna create kind of like a halo eye so i'm gonna put that right on the outer part and on the inner part of my eye
just like that. Um, and now I'm gonna take the other brush that I was using and just blend the edges. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of Virgin, which is the shade right here. It's just like a white. We'll see how pigmented this is. I wanna take a little bit and just kind of run it through the brow bone to help me blend a little bit and make it look a little bit brighter. Okay. Um, let's take Cherry Wet, which is, it, it looks like a different kind of red. So if you guys can see, this one has a little bit more of like a blue kind of undertone to it, and this one does not. Uh, this one looks a little bit more kind of like a berry, like a berry red. So I'm gonna try that. See if it makes a difference. Um, which right now I feel like not really. I feel like those are literally the exact same. Actually, I feel like this one is a little bit more pigmented. Let me try swatching them to see if they have any. Mm, okay, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that on camera, but this one looks a little bit more orangey and this one looks a little bit more like bluey tone But not that much of a difference to be honest, but when you guys swatch them um, This one looks like it has more like a pinky undertone and this one looks like it has more of like a corally undertone So yeah, I think that's like the only difference but because I just put them one on top of the other i cannot really see a difference but yeah okay now the thing is what am i gonna put on the center so i wanted to do something with like the purpley kind of shape which is this one but like i said i swatched it and it feels really chalky as well um like there you guys this is like horrible it looks hella chalky it doesn't really have much payoff um we do have this other metallic shade which is cotton candy and jawbreaker um let's see i'll swatch them here um yeah it's just like a little silver moment and like a pinky kind of moment um let's try the pinky one i think what i'm just gonna do is gonna take a little bit of concealer and pop some on top to give me a little bit of something for the shadow to stick onto because they just like kind of fluff with this formula. I take cotton candy right there and place that right in the center. gonna take a little bit of jawbreaker as well just a tiny bit and kind of pop that right on top to give it a little bit more of that metallic -y finish and then I'm gonna take the brush that I was using to kind of blend the edges a little bit I mean that's not bad it's not bad but honestly like mm, i'm not fully convinced with how it looks mm, it looks looks just fine uh let's take a little bit of raspberry which is this shade again i, I just want to use a little bit to kind of deepen things out a little bit see if that helps to give me a little bit of depth Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of good morning, which is that very light kind of neutral shade. I'm just gonna use that to help me Blend these edges out Okay, 
okay we have a shade here called tasty which is like a brown which is also not very pigmented so it just yeah it just seems kind of like a whatever i mean it's nice and pigmented but once you build it up but it's not like anything really exciting uh we have a color shade a uh, shade named cute which is this one right here this is the swatch uh, i'm just gonna swatch it right here but yeah these colorful ones are just like hella chalky and they're not what i was hoping for like i was hoping them to really be nice and intense we have this other called other one called sour which is this one right here again they feel like they're really pressed in a hard way as well so that doesn't help there it is this one does show up uh, quite nicely when you swatch it out like that but they just feel like they're really pressed hard to the point where it just doesn't even show up like when you go in with a brush you, you don't really seem to pick anything up on the brush so that's not good um i'm gonna try the color delicious which is this shade here it looks kind of like a berry like a blueberry deep tone shade so uh, let me try swatching it yeah it just looks like it has that blueberry kind of undertone but you see like it's just not it's just chalky 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 unfortunately very unfortunately because you know if this would have been a nice quality palette for the price so i'm just putting a little bit of that there and it's not looking too good it looks oh my god no like it's looking patchy now patchy yeah that's not good also these these little guys are not good either <sighs> all right well i think i know where we stand clearly like look at this this just doesn't look good no it does not look good um like i said all of them just feel like i'm swatching some of them right now so you guys can see what i mean but they just look hella chalky they don't show up um like look at this what is that looks like i literally took a chalk and you know put it on the chalkboard and then i went with my finger on there it just doesn't look good no no and uh, no i'm probably gonna give this palette to my four-year-old cousin i'm sure she will enjoy this because i did not enjoy it the, the packaging is sick though i do like the packaging but it just doesn't work and honestly I'm not gonna be wasting my time with these kind of colors anyways guys even though that was kind of a flop uh, I hope I gave you some insight on this palette and the app you know whatever you're purchasing on there mm, you might want to read the reviews because Most likely, makeup items like this, where when they're like a copy or something, for the most part, they probably won't work. Like this looks very promising on the pan. They look nice and promising, you know, they look like they're gonna work. But truth is, they're not. They are not gonna work and they're just going to make your eye shadow look like a patchy, ugly mess. Like this is the situation here. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I personally am um, pissed and I would like my money back, but I'm not gonna get it. So I'm just gonna move on and pretend like this didn't happen and hopefully learn from it and not be buying makeup copies from China. Yeah, cause fuck dude, what the fuck? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll let you guys go and have your the rest of your day um hopefully it's a good one and yeah hopefully see you guys on the next one Bye.